A Virginia man is suing the state after losing his job as a substance abuse counselor due to a past drug conviction. Our Brendan King talked to the man and his attorneys who call Virginia's current law, quote, unconstitutional. So I started using more crack cocaine and eventually I started using heroin. Um, and heroin became my downfall. Rudy Carey admits to the mistakes he made decades ago. No one wanted me around, not my family, not my children. Since then, he's lived a life of recovery. September 15th, 2007, after coming home from prison, um, doing two years and eight months, uh, I needed to do something different. But those mistakes followed him years and years later. In 2004, in his old life, he tried to run away during a traffic stop and he struck the officer who was trying to handcuff him. He served his time two years and eight months, but assault on a public official is a barrier crime. After using his struggles with beating addiction to work as a substance abuse counselor at a Fredericksburg treatment facility, his superiors let him go. But there are so many people that depend on me. And that day, October 2018, uh, was a very painful day for me. It was very painful. Right now, the Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Services lists 176 crimes as barrier crimes. Everything from recklessly driving a boat to using a laser pointer can prevent you from being hired for a direct care position. So after five years of great work as a counselor, when his employers really understood the ban, they were forced to fire him. And that punishment will last the rest of his life. Now, Kerry, with the help of the Institute for Justice, is suing the department in federal court. Judging Rudy and people like him for who they were 17 years ago instead of who they are today, that's just not rational. On Wednesday, a spokesperson for the department told CBS 6 they do not comment on pending litigation. And the department admits, admits that this law is contributing to a shortage. It has stated publicly that it is blocking people who have invaluable experiences. The Virginia Legislative Black Caucus said in a statement, this reform is long overdue and it's time we act promptly to address it through legislation. And I love to help people. It's nothing more priceless to me than to see people in my community and they constantly say thank you for what you've done in my life. And when are you coming back? And I, I can only say I don't know. The attorneys say they filed the lawsuit in federal court on Tuesday. They will now have to wait to see how Virginia's Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Services responds to the case for their next step in court.